Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I want to go over some information about Zinal and Gas, ticker symbol ZNOG, and the annual shareholder meeting, a little preview and prediction of what I think that could be coming on Wednesday. And of course, we will have a recap of that meeting as always on Wednesday sometime, either mid-morning, early afternoon, evening, whatever, whatever the day looks like for me. You will have a detailed, updated, uh, shorter version of the shareholder meeting. So what to expect, you're going to have about an hour and a half roughly of the meeting coming to you. And I'll condense it down to anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes, typically in a nutshell, similar to what you're seeing here, kind of like a PowerPoint presentation. I'm going to go over everything you talked about and kind of give you my thoughts and opinions on that. So if you enjoy this type of content, if you appreciate all the work that I'm putting into keeping you updated on Zyno and Gas, consider subscribing to the channel, liking the video, sharing with a friend, hit the notification bell, leave me a comment on the video. So let's go ahead and get on down to it. So uh, year in review for the annual shareholder meeting in 2023. Basically, uh, you know, this was last year's annual shareholder meeting, some kind of seven key points that they left in their update after the shareholder meeting. I'm going to go through those is that we're working on re-entering the MJL1 well where the new technologies and data will be implemented with the aim of having a produ producing well. Number two, our team is focusing on using new stimulation methods for the MJ01 in several key zones. Three, we're making significant strides in finalizing plans with the service providers and contractors with our operations team diligently finalizing the re-entry plans of the MJ01 well. Number four, a reminder that a key component is that we own our own rig and we're procuring many uh, ancillary items and strengthen our operational capabilities. Number five, we've completed meetings with service providers receiving pricing estimates to facilitate budgeting and future planning. We anticipate hitting the ground running, assuming that we receive approval from the ministry in Q3. Our future plans include additional exploration projects. So that was from the annual shareholder meeting. So now from last year in 2023, so what we're gonna do is go through every other update that they've given us, not fully, just kind of quick little bullet points from that point on leading up to Wednesday's meeting. Uh, so we had September 14th, they announced that the uh, new Megiddo Valley License 434 was approved, allowing for ongoing oil and gas exploration in Israel. Zion then on October 7th, the war in Israel begins. They sent an email out asking for prayers. They updated the shareholders on October 11th about the drill site and the crew and they're, that they're accounted for and safe. On October 25th, they released an update saying they were pleased to report that our staff rig and the entirety of our license exploration area remained safe. And they were thanking everyone for the prayers and things of that nature. So that was on the 25th, just another small update. On November the 6th, the new unit program was announced. On November 16th, uh, they sent this out. This is just kind of a little key point here. It says, we have re-examined the logs and other data from the MJO well, one well in preparation for planning of re-entry. Our license application was amended to address the planned re-entry requiring a change in the work plan portion of the application. And they were just talking about how, uh, why it may be kind of, you know, kind of giving you some updates on why it may be taking a little bit longer. Uh, Zion receives a regulatory approval by December 6th to proceed uh, with their plan. December 20th, they announced the unit program was extended to January. January 29th, they announced that the unit program was extended to February. By 2024, in February, we gained full acceptance of that work plan that they were talking about in some of the previous updates in 2023. February 29th, they released a podcast. You can go back and watch that on their website if you haven't seen it. It's actually on YouTube as well if you want to go listen in. On April the 8th, and this was just another update saying that basically everybody remains safe and all that good stuff. Uh, watching, you know, they're still kind of keeping up with the war and all this stuff. And they're just letting everybody know that everything is still safe and everyone is still safe there. Uh, May 21st, and this was the most recent, says we anticipate that early June our team will have the crew on location prepared to move the rig just several meters on the MJ01 drill pad location to the MJ01 well bore. 
complete the necessary regulatory and safety operations, and then proceed with the MJ-01 recompletion operation. So that's the most recent up-to-date update that they have sent out. And guess what? We are now in early June, okay? So my predictions, and first of all, when is the shareholder meeting? It's just this Wednesday, June 5th at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. You need to sign up online. If you want to watch it online, you can even sign up to go in person in Dallas if you would like to. And so the link to this to sign up is going to be in the description below if you haven't done so already. So my two predictions of this, and keep in mind I could be 100% completely wrong on this, is option A, they give a full year review, kind of like what I just did here. They're going to go over all the things that they've been through for the year. Typically is what they do. They're obviously going to vote and re <clears throat> they're going to allow more time to vote for the things that they've sent out for the shareholder meeting and they'll close voting and blah 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 and option a they, they can potentially say that say they, they announced that they have boots on the ground now they talk about the process of beginning to move the rig and or are already in the process of moving the rig and they announce an extension to that unit program Option B, they give a full year review, do the voting, yada, yada, yada. Uh, announced that they don't have boots on the ground yet and they have another delay and kind of blow some smoke up our rear end again. And again, announce an extension to the unit program. And I say that on both options is because I just feel that it, it's, you know, they're going to extend it maybe for like one more month. And unless they've already announced it, I don't know about it. I don't know. But. I feel like they're going to have to extend it more because it's going to cost more money because now we got more people there actually coming in to do work. So now the cost of everything is going to go up. So they're going to extend that again. So that's kind of my two predictions. I don't expect, you know, for you new people here, don't expect to come on this call and them saying we completed everything. We have oil. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. It's going to $10 a share. It's not going to happen. They're just going to basically give you an update on what the plans are and kind of lay out a timeline of what they think might happen. But keep in mind that their timelines are never typically on point, uh, but it's not necessarily just them, it's just the industry that they are in. And you got to keep in mind where they are in the world. They're in Israel, which is currently at war. So keep that under, under consideration. But I do think that they're going to talk about hopefully having people there now and getting ready to potentially start the process and maybe a couple weeks from now we get some type of update so my prediction on the share price if option a you could see the stock price get an increase in price however i don't see it maintaining that price strength unless they announce a full detailed plan related the meeting and a timely major update on their progress so if they announce an update we could start seeing a little bit increased tick in price but in a couple of weeks, if they don't give you anything at all, then you can expect it just to kind of be a false breakout, fall down. If they give you a good you know, update saying we moved the rig, we did this, we did that, then I think that's going to be a bullish thing. And I think it's going to slowly start kind of making its way back up, in my opinion. OK, if option B, possibly still a small spike in price. But overall, I think that we're going to get down to four and a half cents, five cents a share in that level, which honestly, we're not that far off currently because we're currently right at about six cents a share. Okay. So that's still a possibility leading up to the meeting. Okay. We could actually fall to that before the meeting and then maybe things start turning a little bit more bullish. I don't know. So we'll see what happens. Uh, again, keep an eye on uh, the channel. For Wednesday afternoon and evening I will have a full update for you guys so make sure that you subscribe to the channel and hit notifications that way you can get that update whenever I do come out with it other than that let me know your comments below and we'll catch you in the next one